broadcast in a little segment we like to call He Says, She Says, sponsored by the Blue Martini Lounge, your girls' night out destination. Love it on Thursday nights. Okay, our man in the hot seat today, he's been on the show before cooking, and you'll see him just doing that in our second hour. But we thought we'd abuse him a little bit first before, we, before we put him to work in the kitchen. Um, so, Erwin, please welcome Chef Keith Hicks Woo! from Buttons Restaurant. How Thank are you? you? I'm good. I'm I was good. about to ask, you came up here and you're not going to cook, but now I'm excited to know that you are. Yes. Yeah, we're going to get down a little bit, you know, oh. like we always do. Get down. I love getting down over at his restaurant with some chicken and waffles. Okay. We do get down. Don't we get are down? We get down. We, we get down. We're at the church and we like totally throw down. So, in reference to getting down, how do you feel about being down watching during the child being born. Yeah. Oh, I, I think Are you getting down with that? Yeah, I mean, although I did miss my son's birth. Because you were uh, in the kitchen? No, no, no. <laughs> yes. No, I mean, I was like upstairs, you know, we induced the whole labor thing and hours and hours and hours. I was like, babe, I'm going downstairs. <laughs> so I went downstairs, got like a grape soda, <laughs> said oh, what's no. up to one of my one of my guys, came back up in the elevator. And they're like, And the nurse was like, it's all over, thank you. I was like, wow. Oh, no. That's the worst. Was your wife so mad at you? Nah, she was just glad it was over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but I mean, I missed it, but I don't have a problem with it. I think it's pretty cool. It's 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 a life-changing experience for So sure. you watched your children, well, besides, so you only have one. So I watched my granddaughter, Nevaeh being born uh, and that was very so your, very cool your daughter let you watch no my son. son's yeah. wife let you watch well i mean i didn't watch watch i was you the side the watch yeah. i was the side watcher but yeah i was there and how did that that affect you as a man it was, as a I grandfather mean, it was cool. I mean, it was, just to see that whole you know life it's a miracle just coming up you know the whole thing like and uh no, it wasn't it new to you, though. It, it's for, it was for humans, but when you were a master sergeant and in the army, well, sergeant, you were yeah. a veterinarian. I was a ve I was a veterinarian technician. I've seen everything from hamsters. So when you become dogs, a pregnant horses. woman, does, I'm sorry. Does ahead, modesty I'm sorry. just go out the door Goats. and you can just let anyone see anything? Well, That's I mean, my issue. Well, I mean, you know, there, there's, there, you know, you don't. I don't. I don't think you look at it like that. I mean, you just look at it as, you know, this is. Um, this is life. Life. See, I, this is life. This, it's a biological thing. It you is. Know, it's a and science me, thing. And it's beautiful. I don't think. And again, yes. To answer that question, your modesty does go out the door once you've given birth several or you know <laughs> many times, as I have. You don't feel the same way as you did before. I think you'll change your perception once you give birth. Well, don't you it's think your modesty goes away the first time you have sexual relationship? I mean, I mean, that's pretty not modest. Well, I mean, <laughs> Isn't it? I mean, you know, I don't so, think, no, no, I think I still stay modest after you, that. You do, you, but I mean, the whole thing about it is about no modesty. Well, not if you're in a relationship no. with a person. Yeah. Well, I mean, so I'm what's modest, the difference? Being in love. So what's the difference if you're having a baby and that's you know not modest? As if compared to the first time? Because you, I would like my husband to <clears throat> look at my all right choo -choo just, in a way that he. Likes it in the bedroom, not when it's all like. Yeah, but I'm, but I mean, you yeah. know, that's that's the difference in love. You know what I yes. mean? Yes. You know, when you give birth, it's more like a philos. It's not eros. You know. Yes. And it's um, it's something like I said, it's just totally different. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the modesty. You know, it, you know, the reason why the huh 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 all started <laughs> in the begin with. What was that? The huh huh huh. You know. The reason why all that came together in the beginning was because, you know, to, to bear children. Right. So if you look at it from that aspect, uh, then you shouldn't have a problem with the other. Right. And most men I've talked to about it, they really, that have experienced it, even um, Emmett sat in when his sister gave birth. That's the first time he ever saw a childbirth. And then, of course, with our children. And he, I mean, he abs absolutely thought it was beautiful. And actually, when the last, our last birth process with Elijah, he was sitting in the doctor's chair. <laughs> Right They're at like, the bottom of the bed. And so Dr. Autry says, um, Mr. Smith, can I have my chair back? Because, like, Elijah was about to come out. And so it was like, oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, you know. <laughs> and so, really, they are so com. I mean, m many men are very comfortable with it. I love it. it. They find it, it beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, because a good guy friend of mine says when his wife um, breastfeeds their newborn daughter, that he's like, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Like, yeah. it's like that bond between. Yeah. Um, do men ever feel like they're missing out on something because they don't get that bond? Like, do you ever feel like, oh, I'm I wish I could breastfeed, not like, <laughs> <laughs> not breastfeed. But you know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel like you're missing out on that bond? Is it where do you where do you find that bond that the mother automatically has with with the child? Well, the bond comes from the fatherly love. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, um, 
you know, it's the, it's the first time you actually take and hold the baby. I mean, that's where the bond starts, I think, for the man. But also, you know, through the whole period. I mean, you know, yeah. for the most part, I mean, you know, fathers that are really in it to win it, you know, they're there the whole time. And, uh, you know, every, we'll feel the kick. Oh, you know, so, I mean, the mm -hmm. bond starts when, you know, she comes home and she basically says, honey, we're about to have a kid. And then I think that's when the bond truly starts. Mm -hmm. That's but, beautifully yeah. put. Yeah. Very beautifully yeah. put. Oh, well, thank you. We went kind of went easy on you on he says, she says. So. Well, I was, I was, we'll have I, you come but back. But I was ready. Oh, I was okay. ready. And Just and I, I wonder, was ready. I wonder I if ready. you got up this morning and knew you were going to talk about childbearing in the delivery room. <laughs> no, I did not. I did not. I did not. Well, you've done just beautifully. Yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. And I appreciate uh, talking about babies. Babies. <laughs> That was well, my gonna, impersonation on baby so <laughs> We're going to get a little bit of more of Keith. He's going to stick around and cook for us in our next hour. So t be sure to stay tuned for that.